Okay, so I thought I'd throw this up here real quick. So one of the challenges I have for a home server is I got all my family videos, photos, uh, data, and uh, DVR movies and all my Plex stuff. So you could run uh, RAID 5 setup and there's yeah, there's so many different ways to do it, better ways to do it. One of the things I have here, I like, uh, I'm running server 2016 with 16 gig of RAM on a Xeon E5-1620 and this houses everything. So what I like, StableBit has a product called StableBit Drive Pool. What's really nice about it, okay, so I'm not even going to get into the arguments. RAID 5 is faster, redundant, yeah, we can get into all that. Stable bit, what I really like is you can take different size drives. Um, so here, as you see, I have different drives in my machine. I have a 2 terabyte, 2 terabyte, 2 terabyte, 4 terabyte, 4 terabyte. And this is a drive pool. Now, if we go to drive, so once you install stable bit drive pool, um, you launch the server manager, you will get a drive pool tab added. So we click it, you will have all your hard drives down here, and you just click add. Add them in. If you hover over, it's a little, you know, serial number, what physical disk, use space, free space. Well, I don't pull the C drive, it's an SSD, but my other drives here, are in the pool already and you can create multiple pools so here's as you see once again if you had RAID 5 they all have to be the same size drive they don't have to I could put two four terabytes with three two terabytes but guess what those two fours are going to become twos so what I really like with this is you can intermingle different size drives I just had a hard drive that was overheating and said imminent failure all I did was click remove and that's why this guy's here. So I click remove and it actually copies all the files off and spans them which really put me low on space. I was, I was able to hover over it, get the serial number, power down the machine, remove the drive. Put a new drive which is this guy and I just click, and it showed up down here I clicked add. Uh, I decided to show the video after I did all this but as you notice we're at 17.4 gig, it's copying so this will show you, unduplicated, duplicated, right now it's duplicating, it takes some time. Instead of it striping files across, it literally writes the full file. What I really like about this, let's see if I can, uh, so if you go folder duplication, you come out and you tell it what you got, right? So obviously recycle bin, metadata, when you come in, you can granularly go down. Now, I have five hard drives. My data is backed up five times. My photos are backed up five times. Two for software, two for music, videos too. But my important stuff, the stuff the wife will kill me if I lose, are here. Now, I don't have an off-site storage. I need to get an external copy to it, and then I'll be golden. So I just wanted to show you this. Um, it's just a quick video uh, so that is really it it's oh, I can show you this so as we just said the drive pools here you go in and here you go yeah you, know, you have all of our photos you got everything here organized out so there's my son National Honor Society so it's here, it's great. Now what's really cool going back, uh, if we go, because I said five copies, I should have it on F, pull apart, server folders, photos, organized, 2018, yep, same thing, say, National Honor Society. So you can get to them this way as well. What I really also like about how this is done is if the server goes down, I don't have to worry about anything. I can put these hard drives in any other machine and I can get to them. It's a hidden folder. You go into the hidden folder and you can copy them out to another machine. So that's another nice little feature. So as you just saw, 
it'll show you what files are going on so I also installed scanner just to check it out it is a right now it's installed as trial the drive pool I pay I, I don't know how much it is now I think I paid 20 bucks it's like the best 20 bucks I could ever pay the scanner I didn't price it yet I'm just checking it out what is nice shows you different things about your hard drives you can come down here one of your disk experience and following uh, the drivers running hot temperature 105 exceeds the warning 104 Yep, trial license we can come down here all right click the little arrow here and here's some more info so we do disk details and here's everything yeah, three three point six terabytes it's my G drive serial number for what firmware is on it uh, maximum operating temperature is 131 so I'm at 114 so we're good or 111 tells you some performance on the on the disk as well it's nice nice little utility I originally installed this because I wasn't sure how to tell what uh, serial number my drive was by looking at this I couldn't figure it out and then after I installed scanner I saw the serial number and I, I moved my mouse and let go of it and I'm looking I'm like, oh wait a minute serial numbers there as you see right there so do you need it I don't know so I so I give a quick little show on this and as you see now up to 29 gig so it's just gonna keep going so my files will be uh, covered I'll still have some free space to keep DVR and movies and whatnot so oh nice quick little video